Hi, I'm Tika and this is Everyday Ballet, where we bring gorgeous ballet principles, fitness, and style to everyday life. You don't need a dancer's body or any special experience or knowledge of ballet. I am here to show you everything. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you the five positions of the feet in ballet and how to do them correctly. Now, you may also want to see my ballet core and posture and turnout videos as those provide some really useful information for this video. The video you're about to see is actually from my online ballet training program called Ballerina Basics. So I really, really hope you enjoy it and I'll see you back here afterwards. Around 1700, a man by the name of Pierre Beauchamp named the five positions of ballet. To this day, we use these same five positions as the foundation of ballet movements. The five positions combine posture with turnout, so be sure to pay attention to both as you place your feet. Here are the five positions. First position. In first position, the heels are together and the toes are gently apart and we are standing with good posture, being mindful that the tailbone doesn't poke back and that the arches of the feet do not collapse forward. So draw up on the insides of the ankles as you use your good posture, which means allowing your tailbone to release, hugging it at your core and pulling up through your spine. Next, we have second position. So in second position, we separate the feet so that the heels are approximately one foot apart. The heels are underneath the hips. And again, we are being mindful of our posture. Just be sure to rotate the legs outward from the hips. In third position, we are taking the heel of the front foot to the arch, the center of the arch of the back foot. We don't use third position a lot in professional ballet, but this is a great primer for what will later become our fifth position. Just know that as the base narrows in ballet, it's important to draw up on the inner thighs to prevent rolling in the ankles. We don't want our ankles to roll because that will also pull our knee out of alignment. And even in third position, you should feel the inner thighs starting to engage as you stand up nice and tall. So in fourth position, we have two ways that we can go. In the first way, we are going directly across from our third position. So we're just moving that foot forward approximately one foot. This is called fourth position ouvert. Ouvert means open. The other way that we can do our fourth position is actually across from fifth position. And what this means is that, and I'm going to face forward so that you can see me, instead of the heel being lined up with the center arch of the back foot, we are now going to bring the heel across, directly across from the big toe. So it's basically that you see one foot from the front and the thighs are quite crossed. This is the fourth position we use in professional ballet. Now the feet are separated approximately one foot apart and what we want to be clear about is that we have equal weight on both feet with no rolling of the ankles or collapsing in the arches. So even in fourth position you want to draw up on the inner thighs as you use your good posture and your turnout. Just be careful not to open the feet too wide apart. This won't be a very useful position if you do. Later on in plie, you need to be mindful to keep the knees over the toes, which won't happen if your legs are separated this far. So bring the feet to about one foot of each other and make sure that when you bend the knees, you're opening the knees out over the toes. Also, in fourth position, be sure to stand equally on both feet with your hip bones facing forward and the tailbone released between the feet to keep the pelvis neutral. Oftentimes in fourth position, I will see some twisting where the hips kind of twist towards the back leg. I also see the weight hang out on the back leg, so kind of like you're sitting on the back leg, and we don't want this to be the case. So just pull up the fronts of the hips, allow the tailbone to descend, and hug in at the core. 
fifth position. Now, this is the most common position in professional ballet, and there's actually two ways to do it. The first is the Cicchetti method, or the Italian school. And in the Cicchetti method, we are taking the heel of the front foot at the big toe joint of the back foot. This means you can see both big toes from the front. Now, this is less common in professional ballet, but it is a wonderful way to access fifth position while keeping the integrity of your turnout. I highly recommend this for anyone with ankle or knee issues. You'll get the work of the inner thighs without undue stress on the joints. We also have fifth position from the French and Russian schools. And in this fifth position, the feet are completely crossed toe to heel. Now this is most common in professional ballet. But in both cases, fifth position requires strength of both posture and turnout to execute properly. In the Everyday Ballet program, we mostly use first and second position. Fourth and fifth position can be used, but it is very important to strengthen both posture and turnout before moving on to these. So here's a visual recap. There you have it with the five positions of ballet and how to do them correctly. I hope you found this video helpful on your ballet journey and please remember to like and subscribe so that you won't miss a thing. And if you're interested in my ballet training programs, you can head over to everydayballet.com. We've got all kinds of Zoom and on-demand classes and I would just love to share more ballet with you. So that's it for now. Until next time, happy dancing.